All right, folks, welcome back. I gotta say I am absolutely blown away with the amount of support we got at yesterday's meet and greet. It far exceeded my expectations. I was expecting 50, maybe 75 people tops, and we exceeded 300. We estimated around 330. We had somebody that was only a few weeks old. We had somebody that was in their 90s. We had a couple from Maryland. We had a couple people from New York, a bunch from Mass, uh, a few from Rhode Island, Pennsylvania, New Hampshire. So pretty much all of New England. Just a real quick story on the Maryland folks. I actually didn't get a chance to meet them. Uh, Joe Holland uh, got their story pretty well on his channel. So check his video out. But the story from the Maryland folks is they had a vacation plan and they were gonna go beachside somewhere real nice weather they canceled that plan and uh, traveled up to Maine and camped on the ice for a couple nights and was there for Sunday's meet and greet it just blows my mind that somebody would cancel a beachside vacation to come up in Maine and uh, do the meet and greet it was just a stellar day awesome people all the way around it was just a really awesome day it was really awesome to put a face to some of the numbers to some of the likes to some of the comments to some of the subscribers it was really awesome to tie some of that together uh, there was a bunch of kids there asking questions, learning, which is phenomenal. Always love to see kids out learning and, uh, you know, getting into fishing. There was people there that have never ice fished, never run an auger. Some people just came and chatted. Some wanted to learn. Some wanted to ask questions. Just a phenomenal day. Uh, I'm at a loss for words. But uh, Joe's already put out two videos uh, as I'm filming this. So check his out and uh, check everybody else's out. I'll put everybody's links down in the description phenomenal day i can't thank you all enough far exceeded mine and everybody else's expectations let's get right into my footage of the day Everything down? Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Do you need anything brought down no, 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 from no. the truck? No, I got everything. I'm gonna run up to check the parking situation real quick. Yeah, sweet. I'll be right back. That's a mean sled, Joe. Oh my god. Take it for a rip. I probably will. Let me go will. check the parking lot first. I probably will. I'll be right back. Yep. All right, guys. I am drooling over Joe's new sled. Skidoo Expedition SE. Actually, I'm on the wrong side. SC 900 just a little sneak peek I do have something very similar to this coming hopefully this year uh, something very similar to this is what I mentioned um, in my last video but I'm gonna take it for a quick rip and uh, try it out Where is it? Uh, yeah I'll just it's rip a, it around this way real quick barely smooth that way okay hammer down this is so nice Joe it's insane whisperer. This is the Eskimo party or what? It is the Eskimo <laughs> party. What's going on? Holy crap. Josh. Yeah, nice to finally meet you. Yeah. Hey, Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah. Wow. Okay, we'll, we'll just take it easy. Everything was a little frozen up in my sled up there. Take it easy. My, uh, Right there. Now where is that mark? He's right, he's right under me. He's actually traveling surprisingly far. I want to learn how to use that. Flash. Yeah, I'll, I'll show you in just a second. See, he actually so came up. Up. See if he followed me down. So that's rare for a perch to travel up that far. 
That was a good size mark, though. Uh, yeah, that was him again. That's probably a trout, actually, of some sort. Um, yeah, he's, he's, he's still there. Okay, see, see that solid mark? See my, that, that solid mark is the fish. Oh, okay, and that blue one. Yeah, yeah. It, and that blue one was you. So that mark right now is my, my jig. Okay. Oh, we got a fish. There's a good mark. A couple of them. All right, we're going to get hit. Hey. Oh, nice. <laughs> Competition always works. A little perch. Oh, there's another one down there, too. Holy yeah, there's another one. <laughs> Look at that. That's what we're after. <laughs> perch just like that. <laughs> there we go. When you guys want to try to tank that one right there? It's all you. Go get it. That one will hit you. Wait, one more. Oh, no way. Thank you. Yeah, his dad? Yeah. Yeah, Scott Wiegand. Yeah, drop it back down. Drop it down, Jeff. Oh, he's coming. He's coming. He's on you. He's on you. Watch your tip. Drop back down a little higher. Oh, it's my, it's my buddies. Yeah. He told me I could, he told me I could bring it. I was like, it's crazy. Yeah, I think fish took off. All right, you guys want to take a little break or do you want to keep cranking on them? I'll take a break. Take a break. Take a little break. We'll see what else is going on. Thank you. Hey, yeah, like I said, if you guys are still around, we'll go out, we'll go out later and get some of the deeper stuff. Yeah, buddy, so that'll drop on the phone now. Yeah. Let him go. A lot of times you can see him on the live scope when they go down. Cracking them already, Joe? Yeah, yeah. We, we're popping the yellow. Stop the one you just let go. See him swimming away? All right, now stop it right here. Stop it right here. Stop. All right, oh, you ready? All right, when you feel that. Well, that was a bunch over here. Drop it down, drop it down, drop it down. When you feel the hit, don't come up for it. Right there, right there. All right, now just twitch it a little bit. Twitch it a little bit. So there's like eight on the bottom right there. Right there, right there, right there. All right, perfect. Here he comes, here he comes. Oh, oh there's a bunch down there. That a boy, oh, that boy. Nice. Oh, that's a big one. That's a lot bigger, huh? <laughs> now look, you got these all excited now. And this is why I like the live scope. You get the total picture of what's oh, going that's on. Oh, that's Nice one, dude. All right, drop back down, get another one while they're hot. The quicker you get down there, the better, because they're all fired up. Yellow perch are just wonderful eating. This is my tote sled here that I just built the box on. And I'm having everybody sign it. And, and that way I get to take you on the lake with me. And you don't even have to be in the 45 below zero. And I'll have you out there. But I'd love for you guys to sign it if you want. I saw the episode there when you made it and painted it. Yeah, I painted it about two days ago just for this event. I was like, I better have it ready. Yeah. But I'd love for you guys to sign it if you don't mind. And yeah, definitely. I'll cover it up after. So. So, uh, so it all Thank you. Of course. And then the sign in right over here. Yeah. 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 Oh, it's going. Oh. It's going. It's going. Oh, something, man. Hope it ain't a pickerel. Give me a big bass. It's probably a pickerel. Yeah. <laughs> it's probably a pickerel because I've already caught five on this line. Oh, it's a perch. Yellow oh, oh, perch. Oh, there you go. Hey, something different. Look at that. Mm -hmm. Yellow perch. Yeah. This is my favorite all around. Uh, jig for crappie, perch. How's it going? Hey, how are we doing, buddy? Josh, nice to meet you. Patrick, nice to meet you. Um, I can catch perch on that, crappie on that, bass on that, trout on that, salmon on that. That right there is a killer combo. But these are just more lake trout stuff. So, uh, do you find like lake trout like a 
lighter color or translucent color compared to like bass or white and chartreuse is all you need for lake trout. Okay. Once, once in a while, pink. If you're in shallow, you can get get away with pink. But that's lake trout. Then we're lake trout. Pink for lake trout. If I'm deep, I just use chartreuse and white. It's all you need for lake trout. Um, this is some bigger stuff for lake trout. Similar like you had, just stuff that's okay, a little yeah. bigger. bigger. Um, so what um, what kind of line do you use? Like the line that we just got, I noticed it uh, it gains memory so quickly. Yeah, that's probably mono. Notice I think yeah, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Yeah, this is fluorocarbon. This is four pound fluorocarbon. Um, that's ten pound fluorocarbon. You can see, like, I can take this off the spool. No memory wow. at all. So, yeah, the one that we have is just curled right up. Yeah, yeah mono. And, I mean, it's cold today, and you can see, I mean, if, if this was a mono spool, it would be a disaster right now. You can see there's basically no memory at all. So I 100% use fluorocarbon. I don't use any mono for anything. I haven't used mono in... I don't know how long. Even summer fishing? No, nope. fluorocarbon. Braid and fluorocarbon. I've got the floor, the heater, the bed. That's mine, yep. Water was four or five feet off the bottom. Wow. Whoa! Whoa. 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 Look at that, bro. Trap or a jig rod? Yeah, hold, hold that right out. Where'd you get it? Was he out? Way out there. Dang, was you in the deep water? 30 feet, 5 feet off the bottom. Wow, dang. Look at that. Did you get a... My first fish of the season. Whoa, it was a brown, huh? You're going to put that on your YouTube oh, channel? Oh, definitely. Yeah, you got him. All right, you're on YouTube now. You got to tell us about <laughs> All right, well. We, uh, we went out to get a flag, actually, and uh, there was nothing on it. We pulled it up, reset it. We were walking back, and we were, like, halfway back, and the farthest one went out. And so we walked back out, and we were spinning like crazy. So we grabbed it, and um, he took a lot of line. He was fighting, and um, I had to, let him, had to let him have the line three or four times, but he put That's up a good fight. First one of the year, my first brown be, ever. They have to be 28 inches to keep here. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice fish. Beautiful fish. Wow. You want to brown measure, trout, guys, measure it? if anybody wants yeah. to see one. Yeah, let's measure it. Come here, I got, I got a bump board over here. Okay. Yeah, see right on that. Oh. That's got to be, what, 20? If you'll let my uh, glove go there. That's a beauty of a brown. That is a beauty. Yeah, keep going. Keep going. There we go. Wow, just under 20. Just under 20. Nice fish. Awesome. Give me some knuckles on that one. Nice job. Ooh. That's got to go on the YouTube. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Congrats. Thank you. There. So there's fish for people Aww. her age when she gets to be my age. So we really appreciate that. And the floor is yours. The ice floor is yours. Come on over, guys. I'm going to get my little outline just so I don't go all over the place. Um, so, winter safety is huge. When it comes to self-rescue, when you fall through the ice, there's several good videos on YouTube. You can just look up for yourself on how to self-rescue yourself. Any, anything compared to like going up north for a fishing trip or going to Damascotta Lake, um, we recommend you come up with a plan. You come up with a plan first. Yep, I'm gonna go up to Moosehead this weekend. I'm gonna go fishing. Um, Make the plan, check and double check the weather forecast. You know how that is. It's either hit or miss. But you know, if you're gonna get the blizzard, it's probably better not better not go or just plan for it. Um, make your plan and stick with it. How do how does a game warden know where to look for you if nobody knows where you are? So that's my point on the whole plan emphasis. Um, and then when you come up with that plan, tell somebody the plan that's not going. So like I said, if you are overdue, that person would say, huh, oh, boy, they are so many hours late or they're a day late. Still, um, year after year, we do these searches to try to help people to make sure that they aren't stuck. And nine times out of 10, they, they do get stuck. They go off the trail or whatever. Um, 
And then you want to make sure you, you're prepared for your activity as best as you can. Make sure you get enough fuel with you, more than enough fuel. I always have a five gallon jug with me, even down here. Make sure your batteries are charged. You know, if you if you got your phone and so on and so forth, everybody's got a phone it seems like. Um, one thing I learned, you can take one of them hand warmers and put it in your pocket with your phone and that will save the battery dramatically. It don't seem like much, but that phone could be the lifesaver to a degree if you get in an emergency. Um, even putting it in a Ziploc bag so it's you know good and waterproof. But you want to make sure you have extra clothes. Uh, even those buddy heaters, they have so many different propane buddy heaters out there. Your truck breaks down or you run out of gas or whatever, you got your buddy heater with you. You can use that. Um, or have some type of fire starter source with you. Actually going out on the ice. Um, a lot of us know the ice conditions, they can change hour by hour in some spots. When you want to go out on a body of water, bring it up on the internet and look at it, the satellite view. Know where your inlets are and your outlets because that's where the ice can vary in depth with um, the current or even just uh, springs in the water. That itself can erode the ice, springs and current and make it so you got a foot here and then two inches there. Also when we start, to, when we get snow on top of the ice, the snow acts as an insulator so the ice will not uh, thicken up as quick. Yeah. 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 Also like around different islands oh, or yeah. obstructions, if you take a large rock or a ledge, the sun right now is going to be absorbed right into that and it's going to, it can do some melting. Even on a freezing cold day, that sun can still penetrate. You look at your roofs in the winter time, it's going to be dripping. It's the same thing out here. Any of those obstructions can gather that sunlight and warm up around it. I'm getting down to the end of my list here, it's a short one, but some, <laughs> no, safety, some safety equipment. Um, we just had a guy go through on South Pond, and I think he's trying to spread the word like crazy uh, locally. He uh, was out on an ATV, and it was glare ice, there was no snow on the ice, and he'd come along to a pressure ridge that wasn't frozen. And he said, in his opinion, it was like 100 yards wide, this pressure ridge was. So he's going along on a four-wheeler with no picks or chains and all of a sudden he sees that last minute and what do you do when you press the brakes with a four-wheeler with no picks or chains? You start to slide and it's very hard to stop where you want to stop and he went nosedive right into the pressure ridge and this guy said he absolutely would not have made it out of that ice. Not that it was kept on breaking but he just couldn't get up on it. And thankfully, um, some ice skaters were out there and happened to see him go through. They boogied to shore and got rope and a fish tote and carefully went out there and slung him the fish tote. And even with, even with people there trying to rescue him, he's like, I can't do this. I'm going to give up. And, he, and they had to keep telling him, don't give up. Come on. And he was like a foot away from grabbing this fish tote. And you're psychologically, you're going through a lot. You're panicking if, if you don't know how to control your mind and your breathing. And something as simple as just getting up on the ice at times, you fail because your mind is not in it. And anyway, he was able to grab the tote and they got him pulled out, but it was glare ice, so this guy was a big dude. When you're trying to get traction on glare ice, it makes it difficult. He had grabbed an ice creeper off his boot. He was able to reach down and use that a little bit to try to get some traction with his hands, but as soon as these, as soon as these get cold enough, they're gonna be numb, and you're not gonna be able to have any dexterity with them. And uh, you can be in a real, real world of mess of trying to manipulate zippers and so on and so forth, but the quicker you can get your mind under control, the better off chance you're gonna have to be able to save yourself. But they, uh, they have ice picks out there, many different varieties. You can string them through your sleeves so they're right here ready to go. I put mine in the pocket and I just hope I can get my mine so I can get my zipper down if I ever have to. Um, but these could be a lifesaver. So just simple different tools like that can help you have a good experience and get you home at night whenever you're done recreating. Um, I guess that's my two cents. I'm going to run out of voice here. All right, guys. Uh, let's thank Will for, for coming and talking about ice safety. Thank you.
And I'll be around if anyone has any fishing questions or so on and so forth. Thank you for your attention. Thanks, everybody. guys. Thanks again. Have a good one. Uh, burgers and dogs should be up pretty soon. I forgot a spatula, so Jesse ran back to get a spatula. But the burgers and dogs will be right here. Donnie's got some hot chocolate soup going. Hot chocolate soup going over here. Oh, the striker? Yeah, striker. Yep. Josh? Travis Murray. Nice, nice to meet you. Like, if this was a crappie lake, I would jig here. If I didn't see a fish on screen in five minutes, I'd move. And it may just be, I may just move to where them guys are. So when you walk out on the lake, you're just looking for some water depth to start with. Is that right? Yep. I really don't fish for crappie any less than, like, 15 feet. It's probably shallow, so I go. But yeah, they're fun. Crappy are fun. Now, for the jigs, are they the crappy more aggressive, so you should be more aggressive, or are just soft jigging? All of the above? Yeah. If they're running for it, um, if they're running for it, I'll make them chase. Oftentimes, like I, I think as that's in my second video of this season, they wanted this thing completely sit. Just like that. If it was sitting like this, they wouldn't put it. And I could tell that my jig was messed up because they wouldn't hit it. If it was sitting like that, they wouldn't hit it. It had to be sitting just above bone still for them to hit it. Other, other days, they want it ripping and you have to entice it. So experiment, um, change it up. Thank you. All right, what do we have on the menu? Lewiston lobsters and hamburgers. I guess we'll go with two of the Lewistons and, and, when they're done. <laughs> and Joseph gave us some ice fishing hot dogs. That spent the night, the hot dogs spent the night in the tent. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they're a little cold. I brought some, this, I brought some that shouldn't be frozen. Where's I think they're in this other bag and yeah. I just found them. So. Okay, yeah, that one should be all good. Okay, I'll work on those next. Awesome. <laughs> Actually, them burgers spoken for? That one's not. I'll take that and just one hot dog, please. One hot dog, one burger for the man. There you go, sir. And Thank you, folks. Enjoy this Being the professional. Appreciate it. <laughs> what are you waiting for? Hot dog. Nothing like ice fishing food. All right, what do you have? A pea soup, pea soup with ham. Thank you so much. We got. Um. Oh, look at this. Vegetable. Oh dang. Okay. Chicken, okay. vegetable. Chicken, vegetable, yeah. and vegetable. Vegetable. Okay, okay, and we have hot chocolate, special hot chocolate. Special, I'll have a Good. special hot chocolate. Oh, hey. Okay. Okay, we've got to be our yeah, pleasure. Right, right. And I'll take uh, some of the some chicken Some of the soup? There. Yep. Okay. You're, Joe, you're Joe's buddy from up north, right? I sure am. I, nice. I uh, had a, we had a great trip. Awesome. What's it your was name? awesome. Josh? Josh, would you, would you like a dark chocolate ball in there? Absolutely. Okay, beautiful. Absolutely. So Josh, guy's... you have a YouTube site I also. Do. I do, yep. What is it, Josh? Precision angling. Okay. We'll have to watch that. Yeah, Joe and I got together a month or so ago. Yeah. Together. Yeah, I, th I think this is a great, great thing. I hope it happens every, every year. I, I think it's going to be an annual thing from yeah. what I've heard. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a fun time. It's been yeah. uh, more than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. Oh, my God. I, I came here with, you know, we got here about quarter of ten to set up. Hi. What would you like? I can't believe the parking lot was oh, full uh, down the uh, road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, look, you can see way down the road. Uh, oh, yeah. I know. I saw that. Yeah, yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah, awesome. They're good, I'm aren't great. They? I'm, I, yes. you know, It'll help your site, you, you know, know your YouTube you site. Oh, yes. oh, yeah. yep, it does. No, thank awesome, okay. thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. Look at that, folks. Looks delicious. All right, thank you, folks. Yeah, take care. Oh, nothing. Nothing, okay. So, with these. Are you kidding? I'm going to send this link to my dad and lose it. So, with these, <laughs> yeah. you don't have to like bear all your weight down because okay. you'll, you'll stop the motor. Okay. You need to put a little bit of pressure down, but it's more or less like guiding. Okay. So, all right, guys. This is uh, still this first time. Running in Auburn, Pennsylvania. He's gonna get the white plate back. There you go. Wow, alright. Just like just like you've been doing it your whole life. Uh, pretty cool. Just like that. He's a pro. He's a pro. What'd you think? 
pretty easy. It was fun too. Not, not bad for a, a little homeowner hand drill, huh? No, that's awesome. I can't believe you did that with a hand drill. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I got about 3,000 holes on that, approximately. Off this one. Now, the motor still feels good too. Yep, it was awesome. Let's look do another one? Yeah, if you want. Yeah, all right, yeah, yeah you got it, man. Let's do it. All right. That's 3002. 3002. All right. I do one. He likes it so much he can't stop drilling. Uh, one more. Okay. Call for the kids. Cool. Okay, you got it. One more. No, I know, I'm gonna do one more right here, okay? Here we go. I have to stop myself. I can do this all day. Oh, yeah, can. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> what do we have here, Jesse? I am tying up a little jig, one eighth ounce Laker jig with some different colors than normal. Nice. Working with what we got here. If you guys want to check out any of these jigs, get a hold of Jesse. Is this one of yours, one of the ones with the big eye on it? Right, yes. Yep, that's one of the newer patterns I'm working on. I'm nice. thinking of introducing a couple more natural patterns. So that's going to be a smell. I also have a yellow perch that I might be putting out there. That one I accidentally snapped off on a Laker. I, I didn't set my drag before I went out. And I went to set the hook and I nailed it and it just snapped. Been there, done that. Yeah, it always feels bad because you never lose jigs ice fishing. So I only tied one of them. And you can see you know, it'll stay in the box forever. Nope. Not the case that time. You can find out where a drop off is. Where it starts you use what? 1 and 1 8 ounce? I use 1 16th and 1 8th, you know, because, you know, I use them for Lakers. The 1 16th is really good for brook trout. But for Lakers, it's, you'd know, it's really important if they disengage from that chase, you want something small in profile that can really reach them quickly. Or else they'll just disappear. Yeah, so I mean a lot of people you'll see they tie this big hackle around the front of it when they do their jigs But I don't like that just because it's so slow to get back to them. I do like the extra like ripples it makes in the water but Yeah, yeah. yeah I really enjoy it What do you think of the turnout Joe? Awesome. Pretty good, huh? Gorgonzola burger. Mm. Awesome turnout. We've had from four weeks old to 90 years old. We've covered the spectrum. That's awesome. We've had well over 200 people. We've had some people come and go that just wanted to meet or just yep. want to learn something. It's yep. been amazing. I noticed that. Yep. It's been a great day. We had a guy that's never run an Argo before earlier. Nice. One. Yep. Awesome. Yeah, you can see the cars over there on the, the road. I know Parked either. the way down. They said it's worse the other way. I bet. I <laughs> bet. Next time we'll get more parking. Yep. But I ordered this weather like a month ago. I know. So I can't believe it's been this good in, in the walking conditions. What I know. Me. We got so away. lucky. Yep. Could you imagine if it yep. was slash? Yeah, if it was up my way, it would be miserable right now. We got lucky. Yep. Definitely. We're doing a great job. Pull it together. Yeah, definitely. Thank you so Heck much. of a day. The consensus seems to be everybody wants it to be an annual thing. I know, yeah. We'll, we'll do a little more planning yeah, for the yeah. next time. You guys like it? We yeah. yeah. awesome. Yeah. Alright guys, so we got a couple of the long travelers here. Cape Cod, New York. Uh, Kevin and Kevin, correct? Yep. Correct. How we doing? <laughs> Very good. Very enjoyable. What, what do you think of the event so far? It's awesome. Yep. It is. Amazing turnout. Yeah, pretty Looks good like turnout. everybody's having fun. Lots yeah. of kids too. Yeah, that's awesome. You can around. This is just, this is great. Yeah, we have. I mean, this is, even now it's one o'clock. I mean, there's still people everywhere. People chatting, talking. A couple people are left. We've had a lot of people come in. Um, and leave. But uh, Kevin over here on the right uh, is two nights. Came last night, correct? Yep. Staying yep. again tonight. Yep. And heading back down. How about you? Was this a day trip? I think I'm going to quit my job yeah, and move know, up here like for a minute. It doesn't take much. All it takes a time or two. <laughs> exactly. No, I'm staying. It is beautiful. I'm going to stay up. I'm going to fish the. Uh, 
Kibasi tomorrow. Okay. Yep. In fact, I met two people from Rochester, Mass, down near where I'm from. Okay. And they're going to fish Kibasi okay, yeah. also. Yeah, so I'm going to hook up with them tomorrow. Awesome. Yeah, that's a popular yeah. one for sure. Come to Maine to fish. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Come to Maine. All right, listen, we're doing the ramp. All right, so, so the way we're doing this drawing, guys, rather than a bunch of names and a hat and a bunch of papers, is he's got a random number generator where he's going to type in one. This is the amount of people that signed up for the giveaway, 164. So we need one through 164, and he's going to hit a random number. It's going to spit out a number, and I'll read the name, and that'll be the winner of this first pack. What's the, what is the first pack? The first pack is goodie bag one. So we have a bait bucket, um, a net. We've got this um, little value combo hook. The baker. And, yep, that. Ooh. Measuring tape. Let's see what else we got. Oh, we have a skimmer, jig rod. Yeah, that's the goodie bag. So there's five um, goodie bags that are pretty similar to this. So yep. there's five of these, and then obviously the other stuff. So. so we could do like one through five right now. Sure. Okay. Yeah. All right. First number. Yeah, here we go. You guys know what number you are? <laughs> I know, this is exciting. It is. Number six. Number six, Joe Holland. <laughs> <laughs> no, number six is Kevin Ray from, from West Yarmouth. <laughs> no way, Kevin, nice. Congratulations. Nice. Thank you so much for coming. Congratulations. Yo, thank, thank you. Awesome. Thank you, everybody. Congrats. Congrats. Thank you. Good, that is a winner. All right, now we're into the jack traps. This is one of my favorite traps that I've ever used. I've used it since 1995, probably. Another super high quality main maker. And we're going to give one away to two different people. Are you ready? Yep. 16. Lucky 16 is Michael Robichaud from Gorham, Maine. Is he here? No way. Congratulations. Awesome. You earned it. You're one of the early ones and you're still here. We have a gift pack from Maine Trout Whisperer. Would you like to talk about that? Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Sorry. They're just, uh, yeah, I own Trout Whisperer Tackle Company, so it's a bunch of lures that I made. I made it, uh, some crankbaits in there, some spoons, spinners. It's mostly open water stuff. There's a couple uh, ice fishing jigs, but about an $80, $80 Awesome, awesome package right here. Who's gonna win this one? Here we go. 85. Number 85 is Brody Gold yeah, that one's from good. Lisbon. That's you, buddy? Congratulations, nice. This is your pack. And, and that's the man right there if you wanna say thanks. Awesome. All right, that's everything, guys. We'll. If, if you weren't here, we'll call you and get you those prizes. Uh, I want to take a minute to just thank everybody for showing up. I hope you got out of today what you were looking for. And if you haven't, you know how to reach us all. Go ahead, Liv. Are you doing the kids' license too? Oh, yeah. We should probably give away a kids' license. Too. <laughs> yep. Awesome. So that's, that's what we have for the giveaways. And we're going to give away today a really, really cool prize. We're giving away a free license for life to any kid 15 or under. And has everybody signed up? Everybody signed up. All right. I wish they had this for people that were older. We have 47 names on here. Number 20 and number 5 will be omitted. But we have 47 kids under that age that signed up for the chance. There were a lot of kids that already have that license. It's a really cool program that they offer in Maine. So what we're going to do is we're going to call a number between 1 and 47. If it hits on one of those blank spots, we'll just we'll redraw. All right, this is a big prize, guys. Who's excited for this one? All right, are ready? I'm excited for this you ready? one. Ready? Here we go. Number thirty. Number thirty is Ben Lizotte from Newcastle, Maine. Are you here? Oh, I don't. I don't do any of Nope. We'll, we will give you a call. I would have loved to have seen the reaction, but that's all right. That's all right. You should have done this midday. Yeah, you're right. We had a lot of late signups. Congratulations, Ben. You will have a license for life. Do not lose it. Don't lose it. Don't do anything wrong. Do not do anything wrong, or you will lose your license for life. But I'm very envious that you have a license for life. Otherwise, guys, thank everyone for showing up. We had an absolute great time. 
hope everybody got out of it what they were hoping for, whether it be just hanging out or fun or a great day of fishing or learning different things for ice fishing. And uh, all these channels that you see here today, uh, the guys work really, really hard on their channels. So give them a like, check them out, and uh, check out their stuff. Yep. Anybody else? Yep. Uh, we just appreciate all the views. You know, we wouldn't be here if it weren't for you folks. That's what YouTube is. Um, nothing pushes YouTube. It's you guys' views, you guys' comments, likes, um, sharing it with your friends and family. That's what keeps the channels going. So I know I appreciate it. I know everybody else does too. Yeah. So and thank, well, thank you, guys you guys for putting it. them out. Yeah. yeah thank, thank you guys you. for the stuff that you shared with us today too. Because like, I sure think we all can agree that like we don't know everything, and you guys have shared some really helpful tips and stuff that works for you and. fish pictures you guys catch a good fish and <laughs> oh, want to yeah. share with us or what worked that day you know we're all about that so never be afraid to reach out to us we love talking with you guys and this is a special day for us to be able to meet everybody here and see everyone having a good time and just meeting so many genuinely nice people and we appreciate the kind comments so thanks for everybody coming out chris i think Paul, great oh, day yeah yeah and thank you joe too oh, he, yeah. he, he put most of this he you know set it up and uh, yep. It was crazy. Yeah. <laughs> if we do it next year, guys, I promise you we'll have more parking wherever we do it. <laughs> we'll schedule it around the lake that has more parking. Yeah. In and out house for the young ladies. And I tried to get an out house. They, I couldn't get one delivered. Sorry about that, guys. And yeah, then one more. Just a big shout out to Joe for putting this together because I mean I, I just kind of showed up, but I mean it's it, this was a huge event to put together, so yeah. pretty impressive. Yeah. And uh, it was awesome to see all the faces and chat with you guys. It's one thing to look at the views or the subscribers and it's just a number online but when you just even put like a hundred people on the ice it's just so cool to yeah to think about that many people enjoying the content that we put out so yeah thank you guys so much for coming yeah, thank, out thank you guys Hope you had a good time it's a, and i'm sure it's the same for these guys every comment that we get we try to respond to and it just drives us further on so don't be afraid to throw a comment on there if you if you see something you like or you don't like just throw it on there it drives me like on a cold day or a cold trip or if I'm not catching fish, you know, I think about that stuff. So really want to thank you guys and thank everybody for coming. Look forward to it next year.